Hey everyone, this is Leanne from Of Love and Chip Lap and the founder of Sub That Sublimation Graphics and Tutorials on Facebook. I just wanted to put together a quick video to answer a question that came up in the group about how to use the Of Love and Ship Lap ornament lays with your different types of sublimation ornaments. Now, this process will apply to any type of overlays that are from anyone that are meant to work with a template for a specific substrate, whether that's, um, you know, an MDF phone stand or a photo panel or an ornament, it it's really doesn't matter. The steps will always be the same. We're going to be working on this in Affinity Designer. Remember that if you are interested in learning everything there is to know about Affinity Designer and learn how to design for sublimation, and master this program, then check out the Affinity Designer Digital Graphic Design Masterclass for Sublimation. This is a 100-hour video course that is perfectly tailored for beginners and those with a little bit of experience alike. It is learn at your own pace on your own schedule, and I promise it will have you feeling completely confident in your skills and navigating this program. There are fun design challenges integrated into the course, and the course is set up in a progressive style where every lesson builds on the one before that. And along the way, you even have chances to win prizes. You can use the code sub that to save $30 when you sign up for the course, and that link is in the video description. Let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start by opening up a new document by going to File and then New. Anytime you're printing something for sublimation, you always want to start by setting up your document to be the page size that you are printing on. If I was going to be printing one of these ornaments, I would simply use a letter size page. So I will select that and make sure that our color format is set up to RGB slash 8 with our color profile sRGBIEC 61966-2.1. Remember that these are the settings for sublimation only. All other types of printing rely on CMYK for your color format. When you have everything ready, go ahead and hit create. Now to use the ornament mask, you need to have a template for your ornament. Typically your sublimation supplier will provide this for you. You wanna start by importing your template onto your workspace. So we can do that by clicking the place image tool or going to file and then place. Most of the time the ornaments, the templates that you receive are in PNG format. So here I have one that is in PNG format as well. This is for a square Benelux ornament. We want to resize this to the measurements for uh, the ornament that we have. Um, I have some of these on hand. Mine, I think, are three and a half inches. So I will go ahead and come down to my transform panel, make sure I lock that aspect ratio, and type in three and a half inches for the width because that would be the distance that I have measured. I'm going to zoom in. So we can see our ornament up close. Anytime that you have an object that you've imported for your template that's in an image format, which you can see when you have it selected, you can see it up here in your context toolbar. It tells you all the information about it. You need to convert it to a pixel. You'll do this by right click and rasterize. Now you see that it shows that this is in a pixel format. This will allow us to embed any images or other layers into this shape. So let's go ahead and next import our photo that we wanna use for our Christmas ornament. Once again, we're gonna select the place image tool or go file and then place. I've got this cute picture of Jasper to work with and I will click and drag to be able to resize it and bring it into my workspace. Now I want to clip this inside of my ornament so that it will be that shape when I print it out and it will line up perfectly with my substrate. To do that, you simply click on the layer that you would like to go into the other layer and drag it so that your cursor touches the name of the layer you are clipping into. Once you have it clipped in, as you can see here, you can resize it and adjust it and move it around. So make sure you have that layer selected. And here I'll just shrink this on down a little bit so he's more centered. Ooh. 
There we go. So once you're satisfied with your picture, it's time to add your ornament overlay. To add the overlay, you simply repeat the steps that we just did. You're going to click on your place image tool. I will go up to this and uh, we're going to have to, here we go. I believe that these are all them. So let's just try SB overlay. All right, that brought up my um, different ones that I have here. I'll just grab this white wood one. So select the overlay that you're using. And then once again, click and drag to resize it. And you want to also clip this into your template layer. So select that layer, drag it so that the cursor touches the name of the layer that you want to clip inside. You want it to be on top of the layer that's your picture, so it will appear on top. And then with that one selected, simply resize it so that it fits into your template. And once you have everything aligned, you are ready to print. If for some reason you don't think that your border is dark enough, you can always duplicate it. So if we right click and duplicate, we, then we have a bit more prominent border there. Um, this is like a white wood border, so it's not super dramatic or anything like that. But if you have purchased my ornament overlay kit for the square and rectangle Benelux ornaments, I think there's also round ones in there. Um, you'll see that there's 30 patterns and then there's stars, sharp stars, hearts, snowflakes, and sort of like a dust snow type of, um, just a soft edge. So you have quite a bit to choose from. And these really help, uh, bring out your ornaments, help them look a little bit more professional and add a little jazz to, instead of just doing a, just a solid photo on it. So once you have everything already, it's grouped into this layer and you can arrange that on your document space. If you needed to print multiples of this or you wanted to make this double sided, you can just right click and duplicate and uh, have your different layers. If you wanted to add text, you can click your text tool and type in your text and you can clip the text into your template layer as well. So the main thing is to make sure that everything is inside of your template layer and then you will be sized and clipped accordingly. And when you print this off, it will work perfectly to line it up with your substrate based on the shape that it is in the template that you have. So that's it. Really easy to use PNG overlays for these type of uh, fixed substrates. The main thing is just making sure that you have a template to start with. And if for some reason you don't have a template provided to you with your substrate, we have a video the uh, how to make a substrate for how to make a template for any substrate be sure to just check that video out it's pretty easy to follow i give you a couple of different options to follow and you'll be able to set up your own png template to work for this process thank you so much for joining us and have a great rest of your day